What's going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do keyword research for completely free. So the first tool in which I wanna show you guys if you haven't used before, it's the Google Keyword Planner tool. Just head over to ads.google.com. You may need to create a Google Ads account if you haven't already, it is free to do so. And once you sign up, you don't have to actually spend any money on um, any ads and you will have access to the Keyword Planner tool. So the Keyword Planner tool essentially gives you ideas on um on keywords in which you can write for so let's say for example uh, once you head over to ads.google.com you want to head over to planning and then keyword planner and you want to hit discover new keywords so what i like to do is i like to start with my main topic so my main topic for this research purpose is going to be around mortgages so i'm going to enter mortgages and click get results and once I do so, I'll be able to see a list of keywords that I can choose from. So kind of just like how you would use any keyword research tool, you'll be able to see the keyword, the average monthly searches, and you get a three month change. This is a really, really good metric that we get from the Google Keyword Planner because Google is essentially telling us here how much of an increase in search demand this keyword has gotten over the past three months. So we can see here, for example, refinance home loan as a 900 plus percent uh, increase in search. So that means that this keyword is trending upwards. So that tells you that more and more people are searching on this specific keyword. So you may want to cater your content or your blog posts uh, for this specific keyword and target keywords that are related to this specific keyword, because again, there's an influx in demand. Right, so that's a really, really good metric that you're able to get when using um, Google Keyword Planner, and you also see the competition level. So there's a couple of different um, things in which you can do with the Keyword Planner. For instance, you can change between countries. Of course, I'm located in Canada, so I would want to target Canada, but if I'm working for a website in the States, of course, you can choose whatever location you are in. You could also broaden your search by adding in these specific keywords that they have deemed that's related to that specific um, topic. You can also modify your columns. So if you want to remove anything such as, let's say for example, we wanna remove account status, we can remove that, click apply, and that will be removed and only the metrics that we're looking for will be able to see. You could also filter keyword metrics by timeframe. So for example, if I wanted to see this keyword um, or related keywords uh, data for the last 24 months, I can enter that. As you can see here, I will get keyword data for the past 24 months. And I can go onto the next page and see whichever keywords here kind of stands out to me. So again, as you can see, we're getting some really, really good keyword ideas here. Uh, mortgage broker. This has an average monthly search of over 10, between 10 and 100K. Competition seems to be pretty low. And we can see the bid prices. So we can see how much that would cost us if we were to run Google ads. But again, this gives you really, really good ideas in which you can use to write on topics for your specific niche. And it is completely free to use. And as I mentioned here, you can also do the last month. So again, if you want to get more up to date information, then you can uh, get some data for from the last month. And we know for a fact that that's going to be more up to date because, of course, it is from last month compared to, let's say, data from five, six years ago. So that's a really, really neat feature. And you're able to get more up to date information. And we know that the information that we're getting here from Google is going to be more accurate than, let's say, another keyword research tool. So this is a really, really awesome and underused tool. I definitely recommend checking it out. You can get started by entering your keyword and your location and the time frame in which you want to do keyword research on. You can also broaden your research with the specific terms that they will um, give to you. But then you can simply go through and find whichever keywords you like the best. You can add it to a new group or you can simply just copy over that keyword and start writing content around it. So this is the first and free and I believe the most effective way for you to find and do keyword research for completely free. The second method in which I want to show you guys is using Ahrefs, and this is using Ahrefs free tools. So if we scroll down to the bottom here, we'll be able to see a couple of free tools from Ahrefs. And if you click on free SEO tools, I believe you actually get um, access to more tools. So let's say, for example, we wanted to check the keyword rank for your site, or you wanted to find the keyword difficulty of a specific keyword, you can use these free tools. They also have a free keyword generator. So let's go ahead. And what we're gonna do here, we're going to copy over a keyword that we found. So refinance home loan. We're gonna enter in that keyword. Let's do Canada. 
and then we're going to click find keywords. So as you can see here, we get some keyword ideas from Ahrefs and we also get some keyword difficulty. So this is how you can validate keywords that you find on um, the Google Ads Planner. So again, what I can do is I can just simply find keywords. Let's say cash out refinance. We want to copy that over. And then again, we're going to add that into the free keyword generator. And not only do we get metrics on that keyword, we also get metrics on variations of that keyword. So we get about one, two, three, four, five. We get about eight or nine keywords here. So this is really, really good. We see that this keyword is easy to rank for. If we look at questions again, we can see some questions which we can include within our blog post. So we did that all for completely free. And if you head back over to the free SEO tools, there's a couple of other tools in which you can use to do keyword research. So again, we have a keyword difficulty checker. We can also check for keywords on Amazon, Bing, or YouTube. So let's use the keyword difficulty checker. And again, we can paste in that keyword. I think it's very similar to the, um, the keyword generator, but I think it would only give you metrics on one or two keywords. So you only get one keyword and you're also able to see the SERP overview for that specific keyword. So this is for the United States, but again, you can see some of the top ranked uh, blog posts for that specific keyword to see if that keyword is going to be a good keyword for you to go after. So just by using these two free tools, the Google Ads Planner and Ahrefs free tools, I guarantee you that you can do keyword research and find suitable keywords for you to go after. Simply start by using the ads and then you can head over to Ahrefs and you can use their keyword generator tool or the keyword difficulty tool to check out the keyword metrics for a specific um, keyword. Another free and useful tool in which you can use is the website traffic checker. And this will give you estimations for um, for websites that are in your niche. So let's say, for example, we found this keyword, which is cash out refinance, but we want to see which websites are ranking for this specific keyword, or we want to do some competitive research on a, on a top competitor within our niche. So what I want to do is I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and we found a top competitor. So we're going to copy over that link and back over to the website traffic checker. I'm going to paste that in there and we can click the traffic for, or we can check the traffic for that specific website. So we can check it for the full website or we can check it for that specific URL. So this will give you a good estimation of how much search traffic you can expect if you were to rank for that specific keyword. So we can see here, we see the keyword, the position and the volume in which this website is getting and they're not even on the first page of Google. So this is an easy way for you to kind of do some competitive research. So once you find the keyword, then you validate the keyword using the keyword difficulty checker or the keyword generator. And then you use the website traffic checker to find some of the top ranked websites for that specific keyword to see how much traffic those websites are getting. So just by following the, these three methods, you can find keywords, you can validate those keywords, and then you can see if it's a viable keyword for you to go after. You write your content, you optimize your content, and you build your links. And you can rinse and repeat this process for as many keywords as you like without ever having to pay a dollar because these are all completely free. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to find keywords for completely free. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video.